Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the song Love Came Down by Bethel Music. I'm only going to show you one way how to play it, and that way requires the use of a capo. If you don't have a capo, you can check out the links down below in the description box, and you can buy one that's best for you. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm Andrew. I'm a worship leader at my local church. On my channel, you'll find a lot of worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're into or interested in, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. And also hit the like button for this video. But otherwise guys, enough of me talking. Let's get right into the lesson for Love Came Down by Bethel Music. Alright guys, so Love Came Down by Bethel Music is originally in the key of B. The tempo is 120 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And like I mentioned before, I'm only going to show you one way how to play this song and that way requires the use of a capo. But before I show you where to put the capo, I want to show you this strumming pattern first. With this strumming pattern, we can use this pattern throughout the whole song with every section of the song so we don't have to switch it up, which is good news. The strumming pattern that we're going to use is going to be down, down up down up down 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 up again the strumming pattern will be down down up down up down 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 up and what i'll do i'll play that strumming pattern at full speed for a couple times and then i'll slow it down right after this is the strumming pattern at full speed And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. Now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you the chords that we're going to use. So what we're going to do is grab our capo and put it on the fourth fret of the guitar and play our key of G chords. So we're only going to be using five chords throughout the whole song and those five chords will be a G chord, C or C at 9, E minor 7, A minor, and D. So then to start off the song, we can play the intro, and then for the intro, we do have a chord progression. We're going to play the following chords for the intro. It's going to be a G, C, E minor, D, and back to C. And we'll play that chord progression once for the intro. The intro will sound something like this. So then right after the intro, we can go right into the first verse. And for the verse, we do have a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords for the verse. It's going to be a C. E minor, D, C, G, and then D. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the verse. The verse will sound something like this. If my heart is overwhelmed, So then after the verse, we go into a pre-chorus, and for the pre-chorus, we do have a different chord progression, so we'll play the following chords. It's going to be uh, A minor, G, D, 
back to A minor. G. And C. And we'll play that chord progression once for the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus will sound something like this. I remind myself of all that you've done. So then after the pre-chorus, we go right into the chorus. And for the chorus, we do have another different chord progression that we'll use. And for the chorus, we'll use the following chords. It's going to be a G chord. C. E minor. D. And C. And we'll play that chord progression twice for the chorus. The chorus would sound something like this. Love came down and rescued me. Love came down and set me free. Mountain high or valley low, I sing out and remind my soul. And so after the second chorus, they go into the bridge. And for the bridge, they do have a different chord progression. We'll use the following chords. It's going to be a G chord. C. E minor. D. And C. And we can play that chord progression once for the bridge. So the bridge will sound something like this. I am yours. I am yours. I am yours. I am yours. And so then after the bridge, you can go back into the chorus if you want to, and that chord progression for the chorus will remain the same, so no changes there. And so to finish the song, we can go ahead and play our G chord, and that's ultimately how you play Love Came Down by Bethel. If you guys have any questions about the lesson so far, leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So the next part of the lesson, if you're familiar with my other lessons on the channel, is the playthrough. And what I'll do for the playthrough is sing the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge once, and it's just an idea to see how everything fits together. If you struggle with the playthrough, no worries. Just keep trying, practice it, rewind the video if you have to, and you'll get it. But otherwise, guys, let's get right into the playthrough. If my heart is overwhelmed And I cannot hear your voice I'll hold on to what is true Though I cannot see the storms of life they come and the road ahead gets steep I will lift these hands in faith I will believe I remind myself of all that you've done in the life I have because of your son So that's the lesson for Love Came Down by Bethel Music. If you have any 
comments or questions about the lesson, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And also guys, I've been seeing a lot of song recommendations and song requests for future videos. If you have any of those, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Or if you have any ideas on topics for worship leading, leave those ideas down below as well. And also guys, I really hope the lesson was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. It helped me out and it helped the channel out. But overall guys, I really hope that you guys are doing well. Remember to keep safe and I'll see you in the next video.